Hello guys and today we'll be seeing how the customers can quote on the admins product from the storefront of your WooCommerce platform based web stores. So basically using the WooCommerce code system plugin, now the admin can enable the code system for his products. And then the customers can send code requests to the admins product as required. And the customers apart from that can apart from sending the code requests can also communicate with the admin for their queries as required and can code for the variable products as well so apart from the simple products variable products can also be coded for example we have a, a blue color blue variation a red variation of size uh, small and large then we can go for uh, the variations as well and we can code for the variations as well so i'll be showing you that as uh, in today's uh, video and before we hop on to the uh, workflow of the same please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that I'm at the WooCommerce web store and I'm one on one of the products here that, that's a simple product that's the happy ninja now to code for this product here you can see that we have the, the button for the for the same that's the login to code this product so we'll have to log into our customer account first and only after that can we code for a product so after entering my username and password i'll be redirected to my product or the happy ninja product that i want to code for and here's the code this product button now let's tap on that and this brings up this particular pop-up wherein the customers can enter the uh, required quantity that they want they can enter uh, the price that they want to set for each of the uh, products uh, there they can enter a description they can attach uh, any attachments if they want and can submit the code thereafter so for example uh, this particular product is for 18 pounds what i'll do is i'll enter the quantity as 11 i want 11 quantities uh, but uh, for for the respective product the price is 18 pounds i don't want to have it on 18 i want to have it on 12 pounds uh, and uh, here i'll be entering the description uh, regarding this uh, particular quote need 11 items for 12 pounds yeah, if i want i can attach an attachment as well so i'll just attach one of the images there and uh, thereafter we'll be tapping here in the submit code button now after we have submitted the code this would be sent out to the uh, admin and the admin can find it uh, under his own account panel in the admin backend panel you can see a success message as well that the code has been successfully uh, sent out now how the customers can see the uh, codes that they have submitted they'll go to the my account section and uh, there i have to scroll down to my code section and here the customer will find the complete list of codes that he has uh, done so here you can see that we have uh, coded for our variable product as well that has a color green all right and this one is the one that we just uh, coded for 11 quantity the status right now is pending the creation date apart from that the customer can delete or view the particular code that he has submitted if he wants he can also edit the code by tapping here on the i icon under the actions column and that brings up the general information of the product so first we have the general information like the product uh, name the image it's sku uh, then we have the code description that has been uh, set up by the customer we need 11 items for 12 pounds and uh, we have the actual price of this particular product now the code details here you can see that uh, we have the image that the uh, customer had uploaded uh, here we have the code status as pending right now the coded price per item has been set as 12 pounds by the customer and the coded quantity for this product is 11 uh, units so if you want you can uh, make change as well let's make it 111 quantity there and let's update the code so you can also update the codes as well as required so you have updated the codes now uh, talking about the conversation part for this code apart from the general uh, information here we have the conversation uh, tab 
and right now because no conversation has taken place between the customer and the admin so it's empty uh, need it as required and mentioned so let me send one message to the admin I'll show you that uh, at the admins in as well so that's how you can create a code for, for, for the product and you can also uh, enter the custom uh, messages here that will be sent out and you can also receive the responses from the admin itself for the product there and that's how you can update your uh, codes as well as i've just shown you here under my code section where we have the complete listing of the uh, codes that we have submitted here we can view delete uh, the products or the coded products and whenever a code is uh, approved the uh, status goes to sold out and we have an add button here to add the particular uh, quoted product into the cart on the quoted price and according to that discounted price you can make a check out with that uh, particular quantity of that uh, particular product now let's uh, place code for a valuable product so here I'll scroll down to this particular product that has some options there so let me open the product page and let's scroll down and here you can see that right now you can't see the code the product uh, option because we need to select an option first for this variable product so I'll choose it as black and now we have the code this product option let's tap here and the code this uh, product so the price is 20 pounds so I'll enter the quantity as uh, 23 I'll set the price as uh, 5 pounds need 23 units uh, for 5 pounds so this is just a demo uh, description there uh, let me add a uh, attachment and let's submit the code there so this was the code that we have sent for the uh, first color that's the black color there we have successfully submitted the code now if you want you can go for the green as well okay so we have already done it for the uh, black one there now uh, to check the same I'll go to my account and here I'll scroll down to my codes and here we have the uh, ship your idea t-shirt ship your idea that the t-shirt one that we have just placed so from here we can view it and we can edit the quota as well and if you want you can make a conversation with the admin as well by entering the message here so that was the customer's uh, flow until now let's go to the admin backend and let's see how the admin can uh, uh, or how it works at the admin's end so for that for the time being let me log out of uh, the customer account and we'll be logging into the admin account panel now so i'll we'll just log into the admin backend panel so after the successful installation of this particular plugin the admin will have the woocommerce quotes uh, option on the side panel and under that he'll have the woocommerce quotes and the Woo and the code settings so i'll take you through the code settings in a while from now but let's first go to the woocommerce quotes this lists a complete uh, list of uh, quotes that have been submitted by the customers under the quote status you can see we have approved sold pending uh, uh, the different uh, quote statuses are there so this is the happy ninja the first one that we had uh, quoted for 111 quantity for 12 uh, pounds this is the code 23 units for 5 pounds so let me go ahead and let me edit this uh, happy ninja first that was a simple one then we'll go to the variable as well now here under the edit code you can see the general information tab and conversation uh, tab if i go to the conversation tab here you can see that needed as required and mentioned this was uh, what i uh, what uh, the customer wrote okay for example uh, approved your code and uh, let's send back the uh, message to the respective customer okay approved your code and let's come back to the general information for this uh, code here uh, the code ID is there the status right now is pending the quotation product is this one the actual price is 18 pounds this is the customer information having the ID the customers email the customers profile now this is the section the information for the code uh, that the customer submitted an image it can be downloaded as well uh, the code per price who uh, has been set by the customer as 12 pounds the quote quantity has 111 
and this is a code description need 11 items for 12 uh, pounds now if the admin wants he can unapprove or approve this one if i choose approved we can update the code uh, thereafter so this is the image the same image uh, that the customer had uploaded i can open it up as well so the admin can view the image as well so you can see that the updated code status from pending to approved so right now it shows approved and if i go back to the woocommerce quotes here uh, we'll be able to see that uh, the status would be changed to approved and when the customer purchases it it would be then set out as sold so right now you can see that uh, happy ninja it's being shown as approved now let's go to the ship your idea the variable product uh, for which we had quoted and uh, let's uh, the same uh, data is there the quotation information actual price was 20 pounds uh, we set it for five pounds per uh, per item and we needed 23 units let's uh, approve it or let's unapprove that and let's update the code thereafter if you want you can check the conversations as well so let me update the code first then we'll check the conversation part now after this we'll go to the front end again at the customers end to check the rest of the flow there so if i go to the uh, conversation section let's see if uh, okay there was no conversation for this particular one now coming to the code settings uh, here uh, the admin can set up the minimum expired date days for the quoted product so whatever uh, number that you have entered here the code will be expired after that given day so for 30 day, days it would be valid and on the 31st day it would expire so here, from here you can set up the code system uh, settings like the expiry of the code when should the uh, code get expired and this is a WooCommerce code section where we find all of the course codes uh, sent uh, by the uh, store customers now how you can uh, add a code to a product for that you can navigate to the products you can do to a new product or to an already created product as well so for example we have the patient ninja here I'll just edit that up then we have to navigate to the uh, inventory section and they will have to check one option uh, that will allow us to set the code on this product so here's the inventory section let's go to the inventory section let's scroll down so here we have the enable code option so if you check this up uh, it would enable the code uh, for this particular product now coming for the variable product we can do the same we can now uh, let me show you that uh, how we can set the code for a variable product which is uh, having uh, different variations there so uh, for that let's go to the all product section in the meantime let me show you uh, the workflow at the customer's end after the uh, code has been approved so let's log into the customer account once again and uh, after login I uh, will be navigating to our section that's my code section and here one would be approved and the other one would be unapproved uh, the variable one was unapproved and uh, the uh, simple was simple one was approved so here you can see that happy ninja was approved the ship your idea with variable variants was unapproved now for the approved one you can see a plus icon to add the product into the cart is there so let's uh, add it to the cart now it would be added into the cart according to the price that we had uh, sought for so uh, right now you can see it is 18 pounds but actually it's 12 so i'll just show you by going to the view cart uh, section so here's the price 12 for quantity this and now the customer can easily go ahead and purchase the required quantity at the approved price okay now let me take you to the back end once again let's go to the uh, variable product so here we have the ship your idea let's edit that up so for a variable product we have to set the uh, code for each of the uh, var uh, variances there so here we'll go to the variations so here we have black we can choose a size for that then we have a blue we'll choose its size and here you can see if I scroll down we have the enable code I can expand the other one as well so we can enable the code for this one the size Excel 
for the size L, we can enable the code by checking this particular option there. So that's how you can enable the uh, codes for your products within your WooCommerce platform based web store. And uh, that's how the customers can then check the uh, same uh, and how they can proceed further with the quoted price and how they can get it approved as well. So uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself and uh, I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or raise a ticket at webpool.uvidus.com. Lastly, if you find this video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.